they stumble across this strange three-foot creature lying in the snow. It was missing a limb, it had a sort of a dark grayish skin color, no hair or, or sort of noticeable facial features to recognize. From ancient beasts, unexpected finds. Oh, it's so heavy. It's not a human arm. To forgotten artifacts sealed in ice. Each discovery in these frosty terrains is more surprising than the last. My father acquired the Bigfoot September 23rd, 1953. So tag along for the insane revelations made by people in ice that shocked the whole world. Siberian Snowfield Surprise. <laughs> In 2011, a video from Russia caught the world's attention. It showed two men in a snowy field in Irkutsk, Siberia, making an astonishing discovery near a tree stump. The video reveals what appears to be a small humanoid figure, about two or three feet tall, with a large head and thin limbs. This unusual sight quickly went viral, racking up over a million views. Many viewers were left wondering if this could be evidence of extraterrestrial life. The video's setup, including wide shots of the snowy landscape, adds to the mysterious atmosphere, while the true nature of the discovery remains unclear. Monster Hunt Look at that. It's so big. Two brave friends set out on a chilly adventure, hunting for a mysterious monster in a place so cold it could freeze your nose off. The boy's family told him spooky stories about a gray creature with super long arms and legs. Determined to uncover the truth, they armed themselves with a metal detector and walked through the icy terrain. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Suddenly, beep, 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 the detector went crazy. They cleared away the ice. There. Now I think I can. Frozen Solid was a huge reddish hand. Could it be the monster it belonged to? The frozen wasteland kept its secret, leaving the boys with a chilling mystery to solve. Now I think I can. A hairy tale. These, we do not know where these creatures are from. One man said his dad froze a giant hairy creature in his freezer just back in 1953. The man claimed it was not human or any known animal, but it was a big frozen male Bigfoot even without legs. It was covered in brown fur and has a face that might give you nightmares and can run super fast uphill like a hairy speedster. Is it real or just a tall tale? We don't know for sure, but it's fun to imagine a Bigfoot hanging out in someone's giant freezer for all these years. It's been in a freezer or for 65 years mysterious skies In the icy wilderness of Antarctica, a helicopter crew spotted a strange object moving across the snowy surface before suddenly taking flight. The unidentified flying object slowly rose into the air, eventually vanishing from sight in their camera's view. Meanwhile in Peru, locals witnessed an even more bizarre event. A glowing UFO appeared in the sky, with a bright circle of light moving inside it. But that wasn't all. Suddenly, smaller UFOs began emerging from the larger one. This tiny craft zipped across the sky at incredible speeds, before disappearing into the air. Are these proof of alien visitors, or just misunderstood natural phenomena? The truth is out there. Quebec's snowy discovery. In 1992, a snowmobiler in Quebec had an encounter that would make anyone's heart race. While out on a chilly ride, they stumbled upon something extraordinary in the snow. Using a flashlight, they saw a small gray figure that looked almost human. But not quite. It had a large head and an otherworldly appearance. Startled by the discovery, the snowmobiler carefully lifted the body using a rope and branch, avoiding direct contact. But guys, here's where it gets even stranger. The next day, the body was gone. Some think animals might have taken it during the night. This puzzling incident has left people wondering what exactly was found in the Quebec snow that winter night. Bears 3500 year hibernation. 
its kind in the world, a complete carcass of a fossilized. Reindeer herders in Siberia came upon a bear that overslept by about 3,500 years. And this wasn't just any old bear bones, but a whole bear with its fur and all perfectly preserved. Scientists became so excited you'd think they'd won the lottery. Later they named it the Etherican Brown Bear after a nearby river. This sleepy bear has given scientists a rare glimpse into the past. They can examine its insides, even its brain. It's like having a time machine, but instead of traveling in it, you dig it up. Of its kind in the world, a complete carcass of a fossilized... Mysterious Antarctic Cave A tourist exploring Antarctica found a secret cave full of swirling ice and mysterious carvings. Outside the cave, the ice moved like smoke, creating a magical show. But guys, the real mystery was on the ceiling inside the cave. Spiral shapes were carved into the ice. I mean, who made them? And how long have they been there? For tourists, this icy cave is like finding a hidden treasure room in the world's biggest freezer. Maybe there are more caves with ice art, or even a penguin's secret clubhouse. <laughs> Moose in trouble. A big moose was in trouble, stuck in a half frozen lake, fighting to stay above water. It was a desperate situation, one wrong move, and the moose could go under. A brave local girl noticed the moose in trouble and didn't hesitate. She grabbed an axe and started smashing through the ice, determined to make a path for the struggling animal. Where the moose was panicking, kicking its legs desperately to stay afloat. But she didn't give up. She kept at it for hours, breaking the ice bit by bit. Finally, her hard work paid off. The moose managed to find its way out of the freezing water and swim to safety. Frozen World In 2020, a skiing day turned into a surprise rescue mission. A skier while gliding on a frozen river spotted a fish trapped under the ice. They were trying to break free, but couldn't. Thinking fast, the skier ran to get a hammer. He started breaking the ice, and soon the fish were wiggling their way to freedom. Surprisingly, instead of catching the fish, the kind skier let them go. He thought it was better to let them grow bigger before fishing. No doubt, those fish sure had a lucky day. Goat in frozen water. We start busting ice to get to it in the boat. While out hunting, two hunters spotted a young goat trapped in icy water. And without any second thought, they drove their boat through half a mile of thin ice to reach the scared animal. Once they got close, they grabbed the goat by its horns and pulled it into the boat. Back at their camp, they warmed up the shivering goat. But the goat had a surprise for them. As soon as it felt better, it ran straight back to the mountains. The hunters were left laughing, wondering if the goat would tell its friends about its wild day. We start busting ice to get to it in the boat. 28,000 year old cub. Scientists in Siberia were on their research when they found a baby lion frozen in time. As they got closer, there, perfectly preserved, was a lion cub that had been sleeping in the ice for 28,000 years. They named the cub Sparta. It still had all its fur and whiskers perfectly intact, almost as if it could wake up any minute. But what truly amazed the scientists was the discovery of its mother's milk still inside the cub, a detail that added an even deeper sense of wonder. How Sparta met her fate remains a mystery, but further research confirmed she wasn't attacked by a predator. Frozen fish food chain. There, frozen in the ice, was a big pike fish trying to eat a smaller bass. It was like nature had pressed the pause button right in the middle of dinner. The man decided this was too cool to leave behind. He took out his chainsaw and carefully cut out the chunk of ice with the fishy scene inside. What did he do with his icy catch? Maybe he put it in his freezer as the world's weirdest ice cube, or showed it off to his fishing buddies. One thing's for sure, that pike bit off more than it could chew. Frozen Squirrel Wake up! Wake up, squirrel! An old lady was looking at the pretty white snow when something caught her eye. Then she saw a weird foot on her window edge. She quickly brushed off the snow and was shocked to find out a little squirrel, frozen solid like an ice cube. 
Wake up. Wake up, squirrel. That squirrel must have thought it found a safe spot to sleep. But the night got so cold, it froze the little one stiff as a board. It's like the squirrel became a tiny ice sculpture overnight. Moments like this made me realize just how harsh winter can be for small animals. Even clever ones like squirrels can get caught off guard by the bitter cold. Wake up. Wake up, squirrel. Frozen Surprise Imagine being frozen for months and then suddenly waking up. Sounds impossible, right? Well, not for these amphibians. In Alaska, as winter thaws, something incredible happens. Frozen frogs start to stir. Their hearts begin to beat, brains light up, and they start to move. I know you guys are thinking, how even? Well, their livers pumped a syrupy antifreeze into their cells before winter, protecting their organs. After eight months on ice, they hop away, completely fine. But wait, there's a twist here. As frogs leap to freedom, Alaska's most unwelcome residents emerge, mosquitoes. Even these cold-blooded hoppers aren't safe from the bloodthirsty swarms. And that's how nature's game of survival continues. His brain lights up. Yeti. A 60-year Yeti hunt leads to an amazing discovery. It all started in 1951 when a British explorer found a massive footprint on Mount Everest. The world went wild. Was it the mysterious Yeti? Little Daniel was hooked. As he grew up, his fever only got stronger. He walked through the Himalayas, following clues and stories. But while searching for Yeti deep in Nepal, he stumbled upon a hidden paradise. The valley was so untouched that even the locals rarely went there. His search for the Yeti saved a real-life wonderland. Who knows? Maybe the Yeti's still out there, waiting to be found. Exactly what they were. Yeti footprints. Mysterious Pyramids Huge great pyramids in Antarctica. Scientists made an amazing discovery in Antarctica, the coldest place on Earth. In 2016, satellite pictures showed something strange poking out of the ice. Some people think it might be a huge pyramid made by humans long ago. The pyramid was really big. Each side was about two kilometers long. That's even bigger than the famous pyramids in Egypt. This was super surprising because most experts thought no one ever lived in Antarctica because it's so cold and icy. But some stories from Polynesia talk about ancestors who went to a land that sounds a lot like Antarctica. And in 2017, scientists found proof that Antarctica used to be much warmer, like a rainforest. Could people have lived there and built pyramids long ago? It's a big mystery that has everyone wondering about Antarctica's secrets. A man-made pyramid beneath the Antarctic ice? Ancient arrows in Norway the most recent arrow dates back to 1300 AD. In Norway, scientists found something amazing on a mountain. They discovered about 70 old arrows, plus shoes and other stuff. The oldest arrow was from 6,000 years ago. The newest one was only 700 years old. This shows that for 5,000 years, people hunted in the same place with the same kind of weapon. These arrows were found in melting ice, which confused the scientists. Usually older things are at the bottom of the ice, but here, everything was mixed up. It's a puzzle that helps us learn about how people lived long ago in Norway. Ice Age Wolf Pup He knew it was more valuable than gold. Gold miners in Canada's Yukon hit the jackpot, but it wasn't gold they found. Yep, it was a furry little time traveler. While digging, they found a frozen wolf pup. This had been on ice for 57,000 years. Scientists found out it was only seven weeks old when it took its big nap. Surprisingly, this pup isn't related to today's wolves in North America. It's more like the wolves that used to roam in Russia during the Ice Age. And guess what? Its last meal was salmon, not mammoth. As the Earth warms up, who knows what other prehistoric puppies we might find. The scientists started calling her Zhur as well. Hairy Giant <laughs> A hairy giant from the past emerged from its icy tomb in Siberia. Scientists found a frozen woolly rhino that died about 34,000 years ago. Surprisingly, its brown hair was still there. They found it near a river in a place called Yakutaya. Talking about experts, they are now carefully cleaning the rhino to see all its features. This old rhino could tell us a lot about what life was like way back then. So the frozen ground of Siberia might be hiding more Ice Age animals for us to find. 
zombie virus. How these viruses could infect other organisms and spread rapidly. French scientists have awakened something that's been asleep far longer than any fairy tale princess. A super old virus. They found this teeny tiny life form frozen under a lake in Russia. It had been snoozing for 48,500 years. They call it a zombie virus because it came back to life after being frozen for so long. This discovery is both cool and a bit scary. As Earth gets warmer and ice melts, more of these ancient germs might wake up. It's like opening a box of surprises, but some surprises might not be very nice. Scientists are keeping a close eye on these icy old timers. Wolf Head A person in Russia found a wolf's head from 40,000 years ago. The wolf's head still has fur and even its tongue. It looks so real, you might think it could wake up and howl. But how did it stay so perfect for so long? Thank the freezing cold ground in Siberia for keeping it like a natural freezer. Now, scientists from different countries are studying this ancient wolf head. They're using fancy tools to learn all about it. It's like having a time machine to see what wolves looked like way back when woolly mammoths roamed the earth. Alligator Popsicles When it gets super cold in Texas, even tough alligators need a special trick to survive. At Gator Country, a place full of alligators, something weird happens when it freezes. The gators poke their noses through the ice and go to sleep. Their hearts slow down so much that they only beat three times a minute. It's like they're barely alive. The man who takes care of these gators said they can stay like this for days. They even snuggle together under the ice to keep warm. But not all reptiles can do this cool trick. Some need help staying warm. It's a tough job keeping all these scaly friends safe when it's freezing outside. Ancient Worms Revived Prehistoric worms are coming back to life after being frozen since the days when woolly mammoths roamed the earth. Scientists in Siberia just woke up some seriously old worms. We're talking 46,000 years old. These aren't your garden variety wrigglers either. They're a brand new type nobody's ever seen before. These tough little guys might teach us a thing or two about surviving in rough spots. What do you think we could learn from these ancient wiggly wonders? This sugar triolos, which somehow helps them protect their DNA. Mars Rock Mystery Antarctic search for meteorites found a small fragment of Martian rock berry. In 1984, scientists found a strange rock in Antarctica. It wasn't just any rock, it came from Mars. The small rock, only 4 pounds, was over 4 billion years old. In 1996, some scientists thought they saw tiny fossils of bacteria in the rock. This was big news. It made people think there might have been life on Mars long ago. But other scientists weren't so sure. They looked closely and said there wasn't enough proof. Even without aliens, a rock from Mars is still pretty cool. It helps us learn about the red planet's past and makes us wonder what other secrets space might hold. A 4 billion year old rock from Mars is still pretty creepy on Ice ships. The ship is about 400 feet, 122 meters long. Someone using Google Earth made a weird discovery in Antarctica. They saw what looked like a huge ship trapped in the ice. The mystery ship was about 400 feet long. It had things that looked like chimneys and windows, just like a big cruise ship. But how did it get there? No one reported a missing ship in Antarctica. Some people think it might be an old Nazi base or even alien technology. We don't know for sure because it's hard to go check. For now, the ice ship remains a frozen mystery in Antarctica. Fish frozen in a funny pose. A fisherman saw something super weird on a frozen lake. A fish standing up. It was a big carp standing on its fins like a tripod. The fish looked like it got caught mid-swim when the lake froze. It even seemed to be munching on something on the snowy surface. The man couldn't believe his eyes. Was the fish really standing? Or were its fins just frozen that way? He decided to help the fishy fellow out. He carefully picked up the frozen carp and put it in some nearby water. Giant Sloth 
Archaeologists unearthing the bones of prehistoric mammals that... A team of archaeologists, led by a passionate paleontologist, recently uncovered an exciting group of fossils deep in the heart of Los Angeles. These Ice Age treasures include mammoth remains and a bison's foot bone, but the real surprise was a massive bone from a giant sloth. The scientists, thrilled by this bucket list discovery, explained that these sloths were taller than humans and had enormous claws. To give a better picture, she pointed to a full skeleton in a museum, showing just how big these creatures once were. It's amazing to think these gentle giants once called LA home. So this is a metatarsal or a foot bone from a bison. The subscribers pick. In the 1990s, an archeologist and his team ventured where few had gone before. 17,000 feet up in the Andes Mountains. Their mission was to reveal the mysteries of ancient civilizations, but they found perfectly preserved frozen mummies, untouched for centuries. They carefully moved them to the Royal Brompton Hospital for a closer look. When experts from the British Museum studied the CT scans of mummies, they revealed that the Egyptian infant mummy was of a boy who died just a few months after birth. The Peruvian mummy surprised them too. It was a young man, probably between 20 and 35 years old. His body was so well preserved that even his internal organs were intact. They could see his heart, lungs, and parts of his brain. The scientists also noticed special ridges on his front teeth, common in South American people. 